Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101, and we have an exciting topic to discuss today. We're going to talk about using lithium batteries in RVs, especially in conjunction with solar power. If you like to unplug and camp off the grid, lithium batteries are becoming synonymous with solar power. I started hearing about lithium batteries in RVs when I saw an all-electric Class C motorhome prototype at an industry RV trade show. I believe it was in 2012. At the time, lithium battery technology for RVs was not perfected. When people hear lithium battery, they think about batteries exploding or catching on fire. The problem is when a poorly designed smartphone does catch on fire, it gets a lot of media coverage. That's why lots of folks are leery about using lithium batteries. But if you use portable devices like cell phones and tablets, you are actually using lithium batteries every day. Lithium battery technology continues to advance, making these batteries much safer today than they were just a decade ago. Lots of times it comes down to being educated about a product or topic to really understand it. Let's take a closer look at lithium batteries in general for right now. Years ago, there were some problems with lithium batteries being used in portable devices. Some of the problems can be grouped into the following categories. Number one, poor battery design. When you purchase a lithium battery, it needs to be from a reputable company selling quality made products. Number two, temperatures. Lithium batteries cannot tolerate excessive heat or cold. An example of this would be leaving your phone in the car on a hot summer day. When you return and try to use the phone, it probably won't power up. The reason is safety mechanisms are built into the phone's battery to shut it down before something happens. Number three, using the wrong type of charger. You should only use the charger that came with the portable device you are using. A less expensive or poorly designed charger can create heat, causing the device to fail. Number four, puncturing or dropping and damaging a portable device. If you could look at the battery in your cell phone, lithium batteries, like other batteries, have a positive and a negative electrode with separators between them. If the separator gets damaged, the battery can short out, overheat, and possibly catch on fire. So it really does come down to education. The more you know about lithium batteries, the safer they are to use. Now let's talk about larger lithium batteries like this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate solar battery from GoPower. If you see LIFEPO4, it stands for lithium iron phosphate. This is the chemistry used in the GoPower's 12 volt lithium batteries. These deep cycle batteries are built specifically for mobile applications and are ideal for use in RVs. This 100 amp hour battery is a drop in replacement for the more common group 31 lead acid battery or AGM battery. I have worked around lead acid batteries most of my adult life and much of that time was spent educating RV owners about problems they have with their deep cycle lead acid batteries. AGM batteries were a welcome sight as an alternative to lead acid batteries, but what I was really waiting for was lithium batteries to enter the marketplace and here they are. Let's look at some of the features lithium batteries offer that lead acid batteries cannot compete with. We'll use this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from GoPower as an example. It is important to understand mobile power systems are only as good as the batteries that store the power. These lithium batteries carry almost double the power of regular batteries. They are high performance batteries with a long life cycle. This is a lightweight drop in replacement for group 31 lead acid or AGM batteries. Lithium batteries are quick charging batteries, but one concern is overcharging the battery. To alleviate concerns consumers have about lithium batteries, the battery comes equipped with an internal battery management system. The battery management system includes over and under voltage protection, over and under temperature protection, charge and discharge over current protection, and short circuit protection. That's a lot of built-in protection. That's a lot of features you don't get with the lead acid battery. But as with everything else, when you purchase quality, it comes at a cost. Lithium batteries have a high price tag. With that said, there are a few things to consider if you are using lead acid batteries. Earlier, I mentioned I am always dealing with problems RV owners encounter with their lead acid batteries. 
One problem is lots of RV owners replace their lead acid batteries every year or two because the batteries aren't properly maintained. Let's take a look. Number one, if you don't charge a discharged lead acid battery in a timely manner, the battery dies. Number two, if you don't check and refill water levels in a lead acid battery, the battery dies. Number three, if you don't charge a lead acid battery in storage, the battery will die. These kinds of maintenance related problems happen to RV owners every day and it can get quite expensive. Lithium batteries are maintenance free and this particular battery comes with a 10 year warranty. If you're a heavy battery user and you compare the life cycle cost of lithium batteries to your existing batteries, you would come out ahead purchasing and using lithium ion batteries in your RV. How you camp in your RV will dictate the size and number of batteries you need. These GoPower lithium iron phosphate solar batteries come in 100 amp hour and 250 amp hour sizes. Right now we have two 6 volt deep cycle lead acid batteries in our RV. For the type of camping we do, we could replace both of my 6 volt batteries with one GoPower 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. If a typical RV owner replaces their RV batteries every two years, I would need to purchase 10 6 volt batteries for the cost of one lithium iron phosphate solar battery that comes with a 10 year warranty. Thanks for joining us today and happy camping.